Okay, um, I'm going to make a iMovie slideshow, um, which will have a piece of music, um, which will be si roughly six six minutes. I think it's just over six minutes long. Uh, each frame will be the default three seconds, with a single second gap in between. Um, so let's begin. Uh, I've got uh, iMovie open, so uh, I'm going to create a new movie. I'm not using any theme, and create. Um, I'm just going to leave it as the default my movie name. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. Um, I've got some images already, roughly constitute the length of what I require, which is I think it was about 90 odd images. Um, if I got my calculator out and worked it out. Uh, so we'll select all of these and we need to uh, drag them into this bottom panel here. So we'll come across and release. Take a few seconds and kind of freezes up your frame. What did on my uh, MacBook Pro? <clears throat> For a few seconds. Okay, let's check what we've got. I think we've got them all in. Okay, I'm just going to deselect from them. Now, um, there's a couple of things that we need to do to the images. The images uh, in iMovie 10, unfortunately, for me anyway, uh, has the Ken Burns effect. So we want to take that off. So, um, which is, if no, anyone doesn't know what the Ken Burns effect is, it's a kind of like zooming in, zooming out of each frame. I don't want it. So we're going to come up here and we're going to go to Edit. Uh, select in Movie. We've got photos, so we're going to say photos. There you go, uh, yellow uh, board around them all, showing that they are selected. Uh, then we want to come across to adjust up here uh, towards the top right hand side. Click that, uh, hit the crop button. As you can see, it's selected as Ken Burns. We don't want that, or I don't want that. I'm going to click fit. And that will fit all the images within the frame with a black background. That's the style I particularly want on this. And I'm going to click that apply button. The next thing I want is to put my um, fade transitions in. So uh, I'm going to come across to edit. And because they're all selected, I can do this all in one go. Uh, add, cross, dissolve. There you go, there's your cross dissolves or in position. Next, I'm just going to come behind here and click off here. I'm going to go down to content library down here in my uh, bottom left hand corner and I'm going to click iTunes. I uh, know this is my piece of music just by the sort of length of it, 613. I'm going to get hold of it. I'm going to drag it behind this line here and I'm going to release okay there's our music I'm just going to click off there um, it should be roughly what we require now if you need to take any of these out I can see there's a duff one there um, select on it and then uh, a right click or control click and uh, delete okay so I think we're ready to go there. That's pretty much what I need to do for a very simple slideshow. Next we're going to share. Uh, I'm just going to do this to test desktop. As you can see, you've got various options there. And click, click File. Uh, I'm not going to add it to the theatre. You can do it if you want to. I just don't want to. Um, next. Desktop where I'm choosing to put it. We'll just call it something else, eh? Hey? Uh, test. And we will save and there you go, preparing media. Uh, this little blue 
icon at the top indicates the time. It's a bit confusing because it kind of disappears and looks like it's sort of done its job at one point and then appears again. Um, I will just check that that's done, click on it, and then you should get some kind of idea of what's going on actually in your import. Okay, um, that is it for how to create a simple slideshow with some music and the standard sort of second uh, transition in between with three second uh, frames. Thank you very much for watching.